online. Allora, ciao a tutti, siamo con Tom Sykes, pilota di Kawasaki, salone ECMA, salone delle moto di Milano. So Tom, uh, yesterday was finished the winter test in uh, Aragon, a lot of cold, a lot of fog. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, the first impression about the new bike for the last season? Yeah, yeah, honestly, you know, Sure, the, uh, the weather condition was not perfect, but um, honestly, you know, Kawasaki have done a great job with the, with the new Ninja ZX and R. This is a bike which has been developed from, uh, you know, the last few seasons of racing. You know, with comments from myself, Marcel, Danilo, all of the guys, and, uh, you know, it's fair to say Kawasaki have done a very, very good job. We um, already have a good base of the bike, and... Um, I'm very happy with the, the performance over long distance. Still, we haven't um, tried the, the true potential of the bike, but you know this is something we can do uh, later in the winter testing or even in Phillip Island. So the main focus is to try and uh, get back a good feeling, feeling with the bike, which I remember from the previous season. In the test of Island, was the first time for Nicky Hayden, the Superbike. Not the first time because. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. many years ago. Yeah. What is your feeling about Nicky in the track with you? Yeah, you know, <laughs> fantastic. Um, obviously, Nicky seems a real good guy and uh, uh, an ex MotoGP world champion, so of course a very, very high level of rider. Uh, you know, he's joined with a with a great team, with a team which I, you know, I see has a lot of potential with the bike. I uh, I followed up the. Uh, his bike yesterday and sure the engine was performing very well so uh, you know I'm sure it's just a matter of finding the correct balance with the um, chassis you know with uh, making uh, a good electronic setting to uh, to go with the chassis and engine and, and then you know he, he knows uh, how to race a bike so uh, I expect him to be competitive and you know it's great for the championship to have him and uh, you know and American rider in the championship with a, with a great racing history. Yeah. A question about the MotoGP. I mean, I know, <laughs> I know that you have some experience uh, about the problems with the teammate. I mean, uh, the last year with Bass. Yeah. Do you think that the relationship between Rossi and Lorenzo was definitely broken after what happened or for a rider with the time it's possible to forget? Yeah, I don't know because, uh, you know, it seems uh, from, from me looking from my sofa yeah. to the TV, yeah. looks like the relationship got more divided as a, as a year progress but when you fight for the world championship I think this is something normal and uh, uh, I'm sure next year maybe is even more worse because I, I see some comments from, from the two riders yeah. towards each other so uh, anyway I'm sure this will not affect the way both riders sleep in the evening and uh, next year will be a great pleasure to watch uh, watch the, the battle again and the teammate is the full enemy yeah for not, Johnny yeah no you Johnny is the fourth enemy it for depends Johnny. I mean sure there's some people in, in our team that focus too much on trying to beat you know beat the teammate maybe but for me it's not like this you know the, the uh, main focus is to try and beat everybody I mean sure I try to beat all the riders with other manufacturers yeah. more than I try to uh, let's say beat um, my teammate, so sure, I try to treat all you know equal. Okay, thank you very much. Always, always.